Hello everyone, my name is Paul Vincent and I'm a real estate consultant. Over the last couple of years, I've been asked various questions about survey from my client, prospective client and online followers. That is why I find it very imperative to discuss about survey today. So come with me while I take you through everything you need to know about land survey in Nigeria. First and foremost, what is a survey? A survey is a scientific process of measuring a particular area of the Earth's surface using elevation, direction, distances, and angles. There are two types of survey in Nigeria. We have the provisional survey and the registered survey. A provisional survey is a survey that shows you the size, the journal portion, and other basic information about the land. A provisional survey is basically to enable an architect draw out a proposed building plan in the absence of a registered survey. Please note, you cannot lodge a provisional survey at the office of the Surveyor General. Neither can you use a provisional survey to perfect a land title. On the other hand, a registered survey is a survey that shows you the size, the journal portion, and other basic information concerning the land. You can use a registered survey to perfect a land title. And a registered survey usually has a record with the state government. The red copy of a registered survey is usually being kept at the office of the Surveyor General. There are 10 basic information that makes a survey authentic, and I will be taking you through these 10 information step by step, one by one. The first thing is the name of the owner of the land proposing to sell this to you. You have to check anybody offering to sell a land or property to you, check his name on this first place. And if this land is being intended to sell by a company, you have to check the name of the company. And if a survey has been done for you, you have to cross-check properly for your name to be spelled out correctly because a simple name spelling could render, render a whole survey plan useless. Please check correctly before accepting this survey plan from a surveyor. The second thing you have to check for is the address of the land being surveyed for you and most especially the local government. For instance, if a land is being surveyed in Aja, it's supposed to show a Tiosa local government not Ikeja or Badagri. So if a, a land is being surveyed to you and is showing Aja as a local government or any other place, please return it because that survey is already useless. The number three thing you have to check out for is the size of the land, which always appears here, the total square meter of the land. This is, for example, 1,200 square meter. That is over two plots of land. The number four thing you have to check is the drawn-out portion of the land being as it appears here in this survey. The number five thing you have to check for are the beacon numbers. These are the beacon numbers of this particular survey. Then the survey is supposed to have an existing road and including most or very few cases, proposed road. So the number six thing you have to check for is an existing road. The number seven thing, which is one of the vital things you have to check out for, is the survey plan number of that land. Because without a survey plan number, you cannot lodge this survey plan at the office of the Surveyor General. The number eight thing you have to check is the name and the signature. In rare cases, the stamp of the, of the Surveyor that prepared the survey plan for you. The number nine thing you have to check out for is the seal. The seal is very, very important, I must tell you, because most of these roadside surveyors or quack surveyors like you might call them don't have a seal from the Surveyor General's council. Then the number 10th thing you have to check on the survey plan is the date that the survey plan was drawn. Now, if a survey plan was just given to you and then it is bearing back a backdated date of, let's say, 2016, <laughs> right there and then please return the survey. It shows this survey plan is null and void. Then this I'm giving you as a bonus. A survey plan that is free from government acquisition is supposed to come with a free from known government acquisition stamp. But yet again, Nigerians are one of the most smartest people in, in, we have in this country. You see a property that is under government acquisition. It still comes with the free from known government acquisition stamp. How this is possible, I don't know. It is not in my position to say. That is why before acquiring any property, you have to now take this property, this survey plan, to go and carry out a search. What is a search? A search simply means before you buy any land or property in any form of shape, you have to know the validity of it. Please listen carefully. This is what I really want you to understand. Once a land has been designated to be 
used by the government in the future, no matter how strategically beautiful it is, please don't acquire it because it will be demolished. You would not make use of it. Now, let me take you through some of the search I have helped my client done in the past. As you can see here, this is 500 hectares resettlement scheme. This land will be used to resettle those that their lands were taken away from them in Ibejuleki for the essence of the Dangote refinery, the Leki free trade zone, the Gulf Coast, and so on and so forth. This is 8,500 hectares of land free trade zone Pasubi. This land is situated along Ekbe Road. This is another land, over 2,000 hectares of land meant for the new international airport size. This is the Pasudi of that land. In fact, when my client wanted to acquire this particular land, I was offered 10 million naira from this corporate agent intending to sell this land for him, for me to keep quiet. But my, my career, neither my conscience, cannot be bought for money. Let me ask you a question. If you buy a land that falls under an international airport or a free trade zone area, will you be able to make use of that land? The answer is no. Once the government is ready to do anything in that particular axis, they will take away your property. We have this kind of properties everywhere and everywhere. In Ikorodo, most of the lands there are under agri agricultural zone. In Ekbe, close to the St. Augustine University, most of those lands are under agricultural zone. In Ibejuleki, a large portion of land is being sold to individuals by unmoneyless and companies. That land is meant for a proposed naval base that will secure that area. We have another parcel of land being sold to people in Ibejuleki. That land is meant for the Federal Institution of Oceanography. But if you think you've escaped this aspect, there is another aspect going on here in the well-developed areas. Most of these developers are selling lands that are meant for canals, lands that are meant for drainages. They have reclaimed this land, built houses, and they are selling it. But we often blame the government whenever erosion wipes away property. It is also your duty to carry out a search so you don't lose your hard earned money. However, if a government sees that a particular area of land that is under government acquisition has been really developed and they don't want to demolish your property, they will ask you to come and pay a fee of what we call ratification. We call it ratification fee. A ratification fee, is a, it means the government will determine the noun worth of that land, including taxes. Let me say you bought a land five years ago for five million naira, and the government is now telling you to come and pay 20 million naira now again. What financial sense does it make to you? Of course, it doesn't make any financial sense. And this is after the whole plenty heart attack because your property would have been marked X, X, and you'll be scared. Oh, they'll come and demolish my house one day. So you can avoid all these things. But yet again, according to the 1978 land use charge, lands under acquisition could later be free through a process called excision. Please note, excision file number is not a title, it's not excision. Excision in process is not a title. I am saying this because so many of these companies out there and people are telling you, oh, what is the title on your property? Excision file number, excision in process, that is not a title. Also note, a registered survey is not a land title. Please also note that because your provisional survey was prepared by a registered survey, that doesn't make it a registered survey. I hope you have understand everything it takes to carry out a search and all it takes to have an authentic land survey. You can always contact me if you have any inquiries or anyhow you want me to help you achieve your real estate goals. I'll be willing to help and assist you. Thank you.